welcome to VPC. My name is Miranda and in my hands I'm holding the newest Intel processor. It's their flagship CPU Core Ultra 9 285K. And you probably noticed that they completely changed the way they're naming their CPUs. Am I a fan? No, it's definitely gonna take me a few months to remember this, but it is what it is. Up until now we had 12900K, 3900K, 4900K and now this. Intel Core Ultra 9 will be replacing i9 series, then mid-tier is Core Ultra 7, which will be replacing i7, and so on. So if you are considering getting this new CPU from Intel, you will need to get a new motherboard because they changed the socket. The LG1700 was the previous socket that was compatible with 12, 13, and 14 generation processors. But now you will have to look for a motherboard that is marked with LGA1851. The new socket has 151 pins more than the previous gen and it does look very similar to LJ1700 but don't even try it your old processor is not gonna fit in here. LJ1851 socket will support faster memory and more PCIe lanes but it will only support DDR5 RAM but the good news is that it will support LJ17 coolers so if you already have a cooler for the older generation motherboards it will also work with the new motherboards so at least you will save money there but I know a lot of people will stay away from Intel CPU use because of all the stability issues that happened in the past year. But the experts from EPC team tested the CPU, they benchmarked it and they confirmed that there are no stability issues anymore. If you want to read a full in-depth review on our website, I will leave a link in the description. You will see a lot of data regarding this CPU, how well it performs in games and other programs, and if it's worth spending $589. By now we are used to, to these prices on new processors, but also you will have to spend a big chunk of your money on a new motherboard. So let's look at your options. At the moment we only have Z890 motherboards with LGA1851 socket. And the prices vary from $200 to $1000. We'll start with the priciest options. As you can see behind me, I am kind of a fan of ROG ASUS motherboards, especially the Extreme and Hero versions. But yes, they are expensive and they're definitely not for everyone. They offer a lot of features that average gamer just don't need. But if you are an enthusiast or a hardcore gamer, hardcore gamer, that was a bit cringe. But anyways, if you are really into your hardware and PC gaming, these motherboards are generally great and have so much to offer, especially if you like overclocking your components. Hero motherboard offers multiple M.2 slots with heat sinks, 547 connectivity, one PCIe 5.0 and two PCIe 4.0 slots, DDR5 slots supporting up to 192 gigabytes with a speed of up to 9000 megatransfers per second, as well as AI overclocking and cooling capabilities with plenty of USB ports. Also also what I really like is the M.2 Q release mechanism which makes the PC building super fast thanks to the screwless design. Another option is from MSI MEG Z890 Ace. I really like the design of this motherboard thanks to its black and gold aesthetics. This is another ATX form factor motherboard that supports up to 256GB of DDR5 memory, up to 9200 mega transfers per second, 1 Gen 5 and 4 Gen 4 M.2 slots and friendly design. I've also included micro ATX form factor because not everyone wants to have a massive build, so this option is for you guys. This Aorus Ultra will give you less M.2 slots than ATX form factor, but you will get two slots, one Gen 5 and one Gen 4. There's also two DDR5 slots up to 8800 mega transfers per second. Also, it's really efficient in cooling and it does have screwless design and quick release mechanisms for very easy building. I'll add the links in the description box below together with the full review of the new Intel 285K processor. Honestly, I'm still struggling with these names, as you can see. <laughs> and also you will find all the motherboards that I mentioned in this video and some other great options for different budgets. Make sure you check out our WePC website. There's a lot of great content that I'm sure you'll enjoy. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit that like and subscribe buttons and I'm gonna see you in the next one.